In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change stroke size if your object is already outlined. This can happen if you download icons from the internet and need to use them in your project. So let's get into it. So I download this beautiful icon from this website and I wanted to use it in my project but I noticed that stroke is kind of too thick for my needs so it doesn't look good with the rest of the icons I'm using. So I wanted to change the stroke size but you kind of cannot do that because this is already baked in and outlined. So this is a short tutorial how to work with these kind of icons and how to fix it. So it's pretty easy, just select your icons, you can do this on a group but also on the individual path. So let's do this on the group. Go to path effects and look for offset. Now we have the option to make it smaller or make it larger to fit it our needs. And basically this is the whole tutorial. Um, we can bump into few problems with this technique, but it usually works pretty fast. But uh, as you know, as you see, we kind of get these ugly corners, and if we shrink it too much, we can bump into missing parts. So we can fix that by removing offset and ungrouping our icon. Then combining it together by selecting both of these paths and pressing Ctrl and K to combine. And now we can add rounded corners and just round the places which are causing the problem. So it's this, 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 this and I think also this place was problematic. And then now just add slight rounding to this. And now, if we add offset again, and offset it, see it's fixed and it's no longer missing the paths. So you can keep offset on it to have more control, but if you are sure that you are happy with this, you can copy and paste it and then outline it by clicking this. And now this is done. Okay, um, and you can do the same thing if you want your stroke to be bigger. Just go to offset and just make it bigger. Okay, but what if you want to fill out this with the color? Um, we can do that. So let's uh, remove all the effects and duplicate this path. And we can turn off the visibility and lock the path which is on top. Now we can just select the edges we don't want. So basically we want this, this, this and this. So we are going to select what is not this. So it's this and this. Hit Ctrl A. It will select all of the objects which are connected to the point we selected and then we can delete it. Now we are left with just the fills and we have the option to just one color and put it under our stroke and basically that's it but if we want to change every color individually we just need to select it and go to path and split paths now you can see it split it into four paths and now we can control the color of individual parts if we want better conversion or we need uh, object to be just this we can turn off turn off the, the stroke and actually we can keep it all <laughs> as a guide for now. I would recommend doing this all at once so I'm going to combine it again and then add offset and put the offset right into middle of uh, let me change it to 50% of between this point and this point and just try to find, you can basically calculate it exactly, but I think the, if you do it by hand, that's good enough. And now we can turn this off and outline this. So outline. And now it's basically converted to separate paths with the real stroke. So 
if this is what you want and once again you can if if you want you can split it by going to path split paths and now it's four separate objects this can be also useful if you have traced art and you want to change the line so this is my sketch from the krita and i'm going to trace it now so i'm going to path bitmap trace and just hit ok and now this is not the bitmap anymore and this is vector and i can change the weight line by going to path effects and adding offsets and this can get kind of slower so uh, it's not so interactive but i can change the weight of the line so if i want to make it thicker i'm going to add stew and if i want to make it smaller i'm going to set it to minus one 